Chinese mafia case taken over by police chief with top officers assigned to different key roles. Last week, the chief whistleblower, in this case, veteran former politician Mr. Chai Kamal visit who Minister of Justice Som Sok the Psutin has highly praised, expressed unease at the narrow range of charges being pursued against Mr. Chai and at Korn Kyanant. As part of this week's move by the National Police Commissioner General Dan Rongsok Kitty Pripat, it is understood that a submission on the case will be made to the Office of the Attorney General so that it can be pursued as a transnational crime case, giving police and prosecution agencies more power. The Thai Police Commissioner General Dan Rongsok Kitty Pripat has taken over responsibility for the case involving the alleged Chinese drug mafia network linked with Mr. Du Hao or China at Korn Kynant. Police General Shurik at Hake Paran or Big Joke will continue to play a crucial coordinating role with the Metropolitan Police Bureau Commissioner Police Lieutenant General Thedi S. Aang Zawang handling the investigation into drugs being sold at exclusive nightclubs in Bangkok while the Technology Crimes Oppression Division, TCSD, Chief General Tor Soksukwimel will take charge of suppression activities concerning the extended gang network and the use of grey capital which has been linked with extensive property purchases. Alleged malfeasance within the Immigration Bureau is being reviewed by a high-ranking civil service commission. General Damrong Sakiti Prapat, on Tuesday, promised further updates this week on this case and assured the public that every aspect of the matter was being pursued by a united team working well together. General Dan Rongsok Kitty Prepet updated reporters on the reorganization of the Du Hao case linked with Chinese drug networks and Mr. Chai and Atkorn Kyanant on Tuesday. The police commissioner is taking over responsibility for the case while delegating key areas to senior officers while Deputy National Police Commissioner Shurikit Hake Parn will continue to play a pivotal and coordinating role. Following an announcement on Monday by the National Police Commissioner General Dan Rongsok Kitty Prapat that he was taking over supervision of the DU Hao case and associated investigations into the operation of a suspected Chinese illicit drug network which has also been linked, in the last week, to allegations of malfeasance within the Immigration Bureau and which has seen over 4 billion seized by both the Police Task Force and the Office of the Narcotics Control Board, ONCB, the Police Chief, General Dan Rongsok, on Tuesday gave an update on the progress being made. The news followed last week's development where a civic whistleblower Mr. Chai Kamal visit who has been praised by the Minister of Justice for his role in the affair, expressed unease about the lack of more wide-ranging charges including for money laundering being brought against the key accused Mr. Chai and Ad Korn Kyanant and others. High-ranking civil service panel established a probe alleged malfeasance within the Immigration Bureau. It also comes just days after the police chief himself, last Thursday, established a high-ranking civil service level committee to investigate three police generals within the Immigration Bureau linked with allegations that extended non-immigrant student visas were issued to Chinese tourists associated with the criminal gang. Top Immigration Bureau officers investigated by high-level panel over Chinese corruption claims. He assured reporters that there was goodwill and understanding between all senior police officers involved in the probe which began on October 26 last with a raid on an illegal nightclub venue in the Yanawa area of Bangkok known as the Jingling Pub. Investigations into two high-end Bangkok drug pubs to now be pursued by the Metropolitan Police Bureau. He, first of all, addressed the investigation related to that matter which is linked to the drug distribution charges leveled at Mr. Chayanat Kornkayanant who is at present incarcerated after the Bangkok South Municipal Court refused him bail. The police commissioner said that this aspect of the investigation would now be handled by the Metropolitan Police Bureau Chief Police Lieutenant General Thedi S. Aang Zawang who will report further progress in the next few days. The police chief explained why initial charges in connection with the raid in which a large quantity of drugs and cash was discovered, were, first of all, leveled at a security manager at the club who represented himself as the manager to a large police force during the raid which saw 237 people arrested, mainly Chinese, and vast arrays of packaged and illicit drug products seized as well as millions of bought in cash and luxury cars. Subsequently, police discovered the real owner of the facility as part of the investigation process the police chief explained to reporters. He assured them that the police were out to get to the bottom of this matter and that a large number of arrests have already been made. He confirmed the Metropolitan Police Bureau Chief Police Lieutenant General Thede would now be the chief investigative officer on this aspect of the investigation. He will report to police headquarters and himself as police chief. Gray money to be pursued by General Torsak Sukwimel of the Technology Crime Suppression Division, TCSD, who led raids in November.
The commissioner then turned to the aspect of the case involving the disbursement and concealment of what the press has termed gray money or funding from illicit activities such as drug distribution. General Dan Rongsok said this aspect of the case will be handled by the Technology Crime Suppression Division, TCSD, Chief General Torsok Sukwimel who is also responsible for crime suppression activities. General Torsok has been involved in the case in this role since early November when the scale of the matter first became apparent leading to a series of raids within the Bangkok area and adjoining provinces. Police unearthed huge new threat from Chinese drug cartels with 300 million seized in Bangkok. Finally, General Dam Rongsok confirmed that Police General Shurik at Hakeparn will continue to play a crucial role in the case after successfully leading the high-profile police task force up to this point which has seen hundreds of arrests and billions in assets seized. The police chief described Police General Shurikat's role as bringing the full picture together like a jigsaw or acting as a coordinator although he emphasized that ultimate responsibility for the case will rest with the police commissioner's office. Plan to designate it a transnational case requiring a submission to the office of the attorney general. He said that there will be further progress to be reported in the case and indicated that police are looking at designating this criminal network as a transnational criminal organization which will necessitate a submission to the office of the attorney general. This would increase the power of the police and prosecution agencies to deal effectively with the case. At this point, he wanted to assure the public that this case is being pursued diligently. However, he insisted that investigating officers involved in the case must use discretion and work through the proper channels. The police chief said there has never been a case like this before where so many of those accused are not Thai nationals. Investigation into the death of a Chinese woman he said he was satisfied that all police teams were working together and in harmony. He explained this also extended towards the relationship between the Royal Thai Police and veteran politician and public figure Mr. Chuit Kamal Visit who has been assisting police and other agencies on the matter. New charges related to the Narcotics Act are expected to be brought in the coming days linked with another venue in addition to the activities of the Jinling pub handled by Yanawa Police Station. Officers are understood to be investigating the Top One pub which has also been linked to the Chinese illicit drug network. Police at Suthas and police station in Bangkok are reported to be investigating the death of a Chinese female tourist at the latter venue after consuming drugs on the premises.